Okay, so when it says, for the following data, find the standard error of estimate and the 90% prediction interval for y when x equals 85, we can write down the x equals 85. We can write down the confidence level is 90%. And then we can begin our, our steps. Now, we understand that the data goes into L1 and L2. Okay? So stat enter. It is our responsibility to type in our x values into L1. So please type the following data values into L1. It's going to be 79.4, There should be nine values in L1. Go to L2. and type in 4 4.3, 4.6, 4.8, 5.0, 4.9, 5.0, 6.1, 5.7, and 5.5. So you should have nine values in L2. Now, if you're following along, we need to run one of our stat, I'm sorry, we need to run our linear regression by typing stat, right arrow, 8, enter, and then we write down the regression equation. So y prime is equal to round a and b to three decimal places, so it's negative 9.173, gonna round that up. Your b value is 0.169x. Then we need to go back to our lists by pressing STAT, ENTER. And I'm going to show you what to do next once I turn the lights on so you can see my calculator screen. So, this is the top of your list. Go up to highlight L3, and I need you to type in your regression equation. So it's going to be negative. Use the button in the bottom right corner of your calculator next to the e Enter key. Don't use the subtraction button. So use the negative button. Then it's 9.173 plus 0.169. And instead of X, use second 1. You need that to be L1. Press Enter. Now L3 is filled with all your Y prime values. Now go to the right and go up, highlight L4. This is where you're going to find the square of the difference between your Y and your Y prime by pressing left parenthesis, second 2 minus second 3, right parenthesis, squared. Now press enter. Okay. Now you need to run one var stat on L4 so you can find the sum of L4. So stat, right arrow, enter, second, four, enter. This is the variable location of the sum of L4. We're going to use that to find the standard error of estimate. So let's go second x squared for the square root. Let's go vars, five, right arrow, one, or enter and then divide that by your degrees of freedom, which is n minus 2. Now, we had n equals 9, so 9 minus 2 is now 7. Enter. And so on your paper, we learned that n was 9, degrees of freedom was 9 minus 2, which is 7. And so the standard error of the estimate is equal to the square root of the summation of the y minus y prime values squared over n minus 2. And that becomes 0 0.28. It rounds up to 0 0.28. Okay, you write that down. Now, we need to look up the t sub alpha over 2 using our t distribution chart. 
and you'll notice that we need to use our percentage that we we're given. So 90% chooses our column, our degrees of freedom choose our row, and so that would look like the following. Here's 7, there's 90%, and they meet at 1.895. So 1.895 is what we write down for our T, it's about 4 over 2. Okay. We've already written down our x is 85, so we need to find what y prime is when x equals 85. So y prime equals negative 9.173 plus 0.169 times 85. Using your calculator, That comes out to be 5.192, okay? We also need to find x bar, the sum of x, and the sum of x squared. So we need to, find, we need to run one bar stat on L1. So stat, right arrow, enter, second one. Your x bar is rounded to one additional place value than the raw data. You may recall that your raw data was the nearest tenth, so your x bar needs to be the nearest hundredth. So this will be 84.41. The summation of x is not rounded. It's equal to 759.7. The summation of x squared is not rounded. It's equal to 64,000. 198.09. We now have everything that we need to go into our formula, and that formula is y prime plus or minus the t sub alpha over 2 times the standard area of the estimate times the square root of 1 plus 1 over n plus the fraction of n times x minus x bar quantity squared over n, now let's use a left parenthesis here, n times the summation of x squared minus the summation of x, that value is squared, and then a right parenthesis. So here's what it looks like when you make your substitution. Here's your substitution. 5.192 from here. Quiet, please. Plus or minus t sub alpha over 2, which is 1.895, times your standard error of the estimate, which is 0.28, times the square root of 1 plus 1 over 9, plus the fraction of 9 times x, which is 85, minus x bar, which is 84.41, close parentheses, squared, all over a left bracket of n, which is 9, times the summation of x squared, which is 64,198, Point zero nine minus the summation of x, which we said was 759.7. That value is squared, and then close parentheses. The real trick is typing this into your calculator. And so let's see if I can show that on camera. Here we go. Clear. You've got... 5.192, I always do minus first, and I'll go back and change it to a plus, 1.895 times 0.28 times second square root, 1 plus 1 divided by 9, plus 9 left parentheses, 85 minus 84.41 right parentheses squared, divided by left parentheses, 
9 times 64198.09 minus 759.7 squared right parentheses. Order of operations will take care of your denominator. Just group the difference. A right parenthesis for the square root, enter, and so that gives you 4.63 is less than y is less than, and then you just hit second enter, and go back up and change the minus sign to a plus, and hit enter and you get 5.75. This is the 90% prediction interval about your variable y when x equals 85.